emotionally drained after watching the sentencing of the teenagers who killed their son. Ollie Stevens' parents were determined to deliver a clear message about the dangers of knife culture on social media. There is a cancer in our children's lives. It starts with the use of a mobile phone, with apps that are provided to entertain, yet are misused to spread slander, hatred, misinformation and bile, and ends in the cold, cruel, blooded murder. 13-year-old Ollie was autistic and had been lured to meet a girl near his house after an online spat with other teenagers. This is him caught on CCTV as he made his way to fields 250 yards from his house. Little did he know he was walking into an ambush. Sadly, this case is not the exception. Social media is featuring far too frequently in incidents of murder and serious violence in this country. But the sharing of violence and weapon-related content, particularly by children, also needs to be a priority for these companies. One of the killers had posted social media videos brandishing knives. Today, he and the other boy, who are both too young to be named, were given life sentences and will serve at least 12 and 13 years respectively. The girl Ollie met who knew about the planned attack was sentenced to three and a half years. In a powerful moment before the sentences were handed down, Ollie's father read out an impact statement which left many in court in tears. In it, he said, we as a family hold all three of you equally accountable for his death. There will be no forgiveness from us ever. He went on to describe Ollie's murder as nothing short of an execution. Dan Rivers, ITV News at Reading Crown Court.